It's my great pleasure for the 10th year in a row to welcome the Talba County Public School number one team to the 2012-2000 school year. I remain convinced that we have one of the most talented teams of educators and support personnel in the state of Maryland, bar none. A team that individually uses their power of one to become the power of many to drive educational excellence in Talba County Public Schools. We have many things to celebrate, many successes. The 350 seniors that we graduated last year and the over $7 million that they generated in scholarships. The fact that 100% of our seniors met the high school graduation requirements and that 92% of our 2012 seniors will be attending a two or four year technical school, college or university this fall. These accomplishments did not occur over one year. They are the product of over 12 years of public school education. These students were especially fortunate to have had our team of educators and support personnel providing them with a great education. Therefore, I would like to recognize each of you for your contributions to our 2012 graduating seniors. Could we have the lights up please, Amber and Ricky? Thank you. Would you please stand to be recognized and remain standing? Team members who have had 25 or more years of experience in the Talbot County public school system. All right, keep, keep standing, don't sit down, keep standing. Now I'd like members with 20 to 24 years of experience to stand and be recognized. Now, I just want you all to look around at each other because I think you look mighty good. Okay. Now, remain standing, and now let's have all of our members with 15 to 19 years of experience. Now, members with 10 to 14 years of experience, please stand. Okay. And now, those with five to nine years of experience. Okay. And team members who have one to four years of experience. Okay. Now, I'd like to welcome all of our newest team members. Please stand. Now, look around at each other and congratulate each other for our 2012 graduates. All right, thank you, you may be seated. You know, as we talk about the number of years that we have committed to the Talba County Public School team, I do find it hard to believe that I am completing my 25th year here in Talba County Public Schools as an employee, and nine of those as a superintendent. During that time, I have always felt very proud to be part of a school system where the mission, each child will learn, grow, and succeed, was the mantra. I helped craft that mission, as did many of you in the audience. Now in the 2012-13 school year, we face many changes and challenges as we implement the Common Core Standards, new National Park Assessments, pilot new Principal and Teacher Evaluation Systems, 
and institute a longitudinal data tracking system for our students. Certainly during this process of reform, we still want our students, each of them, to learn, grow, and succeed. But I believe the Maryland Reform Initiative requires an even higher set of expectations for our students. That's why I'm implementing a plan of action that will ensure our success in the third wave of reform in Maryland public schools. Part of that plan encompasses the development of a new mission vision statement. Our mission must include the words college and career ready because that is what implementing the Common Core Standards mean. Every student will be college and career ready. The plan will also include the rebranding of our school system. Now there's nothing wrong with our Red Apple logo, but it is the 21st century, and we have some awesome graphic art students who I will shortly engage in a contest to invent a new logo for our school system. And yes, there'll be a scholarship prize. This plan will also detail how we will position our school system to implement all of the required reform elements. And I assure you that each one of you will have an opportunity to reflect and react to the plan. Will this plan throw out the baby with the bathwater? One of my mother's favorite statements about implementing change, no but it will focus our work on the most important elements of the Maryland Reform Initiative. Knowing that the process of change is sometimes quite challenging, I offer the following story. This story is an alleged transcript of an actual radio conversation between a U.S. naval ship and a Canadian maritime contact off the coast of Newfoundland in October of 1995. The Americans said, Please divert your course 15 degrees north to avoid a collision. The Canadians responded, recommend you divert your course 15 degrees south to avoid collision. The Americans said, this is the captain of a U.S. Navy ship. I say again, divert your course. The Canadians said, no, I say again, you divert your course. The Americans responded, this is the aircraft carrier USS Lincoln, the second largest ship in the United States of America. We are accompanied by three destroyers, three cruisers, and numerous support vessels. I demand that you change your course 15 degrees north, that's one five degrees north, or countermeasures will be undertaken to ensure the safety of this ship. The Canadians responded, we are a lighthouse, your call. <laughs> Now, I know <clears throat> in my heart of hearts, because I've tried, we can't change the direction of the Maryland Reform Initiative. Uh, that's the lighthouse in our story. However, I know that we can focus our work to ensure our students are prepared for the 21st century global demands. We are the aircraft carrier. Today's opening day's theme is connecting students, parents, and community. We are fortunate in the Talbot County Public Schools to be small enough that we can operate as a close-knit educational community, one that I know will support the critical work ahead for our students. We all have different jobs in the school system, but we are all connected by our mission to educate our students. Each of you has a profound impact on the students you serve, whether it is direct or indirect. Just like the student's kindergarten teacher who attends the graduation ceremony to see her five-year-olds, now 18, walk across the stage, and you know who you are in the audience. Or the bus driver who gets a note of thanks or baked goods from students for making them feel so special every morning when boarding the bus. Some of these connections will never be revealed to us, but others are, and when this happens, we need to celebrate. Case in point, 
Just recently, the Talbot County Public School team helped to raise funds to support the mobility van for one of our very special students, Elijah Palmer. And I'd like to read a thank you note from Gloria, one of our team members, Talbot County Public School staff. Dear Dr. Salmon and Talbot County Public School staff, the Palmer family would like to express our sincere thanks for all those who played a part in making Elijah's mobile van dream a reality. We thank you all for your kindness and support you have shown our family. Much love and blessings to each and every one of you. The intricate network of the giant redwoods provides yet another example in nature of the importance of connecting. The interconnectedness and sustainability of the redwood grove provides a family of trees which thrives for up to two million millennia. The two biggest threats to the redwoods are wind and fire. Its thick bark allows the mature redwood to survive all but the hottest of fires. But the redwood's secret to surviving the gale force winds from the Pacific Ocean is an interconnected root system. The redwood tree, which can grow as tall as a 35-story skyscraper, amazingly lacks a tap root. Instead, the root system of the redwood tree is surprisingly shallow, no deeper than 6 to 12 feet. But the redwood trees share a hidden secret. Underneath the surface of the grove, their roots all intertwine so much so that they are locked to each other. This interconnected root system gives the trees so much strength that they stand strong when storms come and winds blow. Redwoods are a wonderfully rich symbol for connectedness. We must work now towards preparing each student to be college and career ready. The existing connections that we have with one another our networks of professional learning communities, our families, businesses, and community supports will serve to strengthen our educational program and ensure that all of our students indeed graduate college and career ready. So as you view the faces of our students in this video, I would like you to think about all of the connections that you have with them and the ways in which you can build upon and strengthen those connections with them this year because it is through those connections and our work together as a team that each of our students will graduate from Talbot County Public Schools college and career ready. Thank you.
I don't know, but um, I'm full of chill bumps. I hope you are too.